We're removing these rotors off our two-stroke engines. We're showing how if we followed the manual, step-by-step, step, we can get the bolt out that secures this. And it's so much faster and easier since we still have our top end together that we just use an impact. We just zap this off and now we're gonna talk about how you get into troubles. And this is a perfect example. So they want us to use this tool that we're gonna thread this in here. Problem that we have is that this tool is gonna walk right into those threads of the crankshaft. I mean, it's meant to hit this and push pressure against that so we suck it up. And if you're not thinking ahead, you're going to cause damage. Now, I know it doesn't say this in the manual, this is why you come to school. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a sacrificial little washer in here so that the tool doesn't hit the crankshaft threads. We always wanna do what? You guys trained on this this morning? Back it all the way out. Back it all the way. You wanna back this out. I've got some grease on here. I wanna make sure, I, so I can be like this. I'm gonna take this piece here. This is left-handed thread that till it kisses then just back it up a hair this is loose now I'm trying to fill that washer in there and then, now that was torqued on there so this should be on here pretty good I want to support the rotor here so it doesn't just come crashing down on me that washer really sucked up I could feel where it bottomed out now and then it's uh, it's crushing a little bit because I'm not against the crank yet still hasn't gone yet Yep, go ahead and take your wrench off. That is how you remove that. Take a look at this again. So basically, look at what happened to that. You see that flat washer I pushed in there? And look how damaged that is, right? Because it went into that taper. We didn't have this easy way to show this. Look at that, right down in there. Look at the tools actually just crunching the threads and gonna ruin that. What do you think, guys? That's a cool trick. Well, you guys out there on Facebook, one of the things we were just talking about with the students today is that sometimes you gotta just learn things. They're just, a, every mechanic should know this. Now, you, you sit and you probably wonder, well, why wouldn't, why would the factory manual, look, it's the same exact tool, right? Maybe not, okay? We're using this, this is a K&L brand. If I use the OEM Kawasaki factory tool, maybe it's wider. You get what I'm saying? All I know is if we would have taken and shoved that in there right now, we would have ruined it to where we wouldn't have been able to put this in when we go back together. We'd have uh, ruined threads. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.